quick history. We started with an older Avon rigid inflatable boat, 10 feet fiberglass V, fantastic boat, but all the seams were failing. Had an eight horse two stroke. I did not want to spend $3,500 on a new rib. So we tried out a Walker Bay, super fun. My son's learning to sail, but it's just not stable enough to transport the family to shore. Inexpensive PVC boat requires deflating and reinflating each weekend. It's a 45 minute process on each end, including the gas can and lifting the eight horse, 58 pound outboard in and out using the crane with two people. 7.5 Livingston, hard fiberglass boat. Here's a picture of it overloaded. At night, we tie it up to the whisker pole to keep it from rattling on the swim step or banging into the hull. I still want to get a swivel for the boat so I can single-handed hoist it. I narrowed my shopping down to two outboards, the Honda 2.3 air-cooled or the Suzuki 2.5 horsepower water-cooled. They're both under 30 pounds, integrated fuel tank. Here in Southern California, there are a lot of Hondas on the water. The one noticeable aspect of the engine is the sound. Due to it being air-cooled, it's identifiable and it's louder than um, similar horsepower water-cooled engines. I went with the Suzuki for the water-cooled lower noise advantage. I've only spent an afternoon playing around with the engine and here are some of my observations coming from four years of running a eight horse two stroke. The advantages are pretty obvious so I'll cover those second. Starting with the negatives which are few. Um, because it's a four stroke engine and single cylinder there's a lot more resistance pull starting and you really feel the compression cycle. Once the engine's running, it's noticeably louder, especially as you throttle up. It's a much higher noise level than the two-cylinder two-stroke. Vibration is also higher. The tiller handle shakes quite a bit at uh, mid-range RPM and the fiberglass boat resonates and vibrates which transmits up to my davits which sing and rattle in both positions and I found if I play with them and get them kind of in a halfway spot wedged in place they quiet down. Revving up from idle the response is a little spastic until it spins up a little bit. On the advantage side it's the proper size engine for a seven and a half foot boat. I'm under 30 pounds. It's got an integrated fuel tank. I'm no longer smoking out and irritating my passengers and anyone else on the water. And I think having one gear, neutral and forward, with a 360 rotation of the tiller is going to make the boat a lot easier to position and maneuver for my son.